Welcome back. Today we're going to take a closer look at the TrackMan facility management software that's included as part of the TrackMan commercial license. The TrackMan Golf Portal is really your all-in-one solution for managing your TrackMan facility, uh, including options for setting up tournaments, uh, controlling your bays, reviewing analytics of your bays, as well as looking at scorecards and even some booking and payment features. There's tons you can do with this software, but for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on some of the key features that we find to be the most beneficial. First, we're going to take a look at the control room. Control room is a way to remotely manage all the bays within your facility. So first, jumping into the control room, here you'll be able to see all the available bays within our facility. Currently, here at Carl's Place, we only have one bay in our showroom, but you'll see on the list here you may have two, three, four bays, depending on your facility. Um, up top, you'll have options to see which bays are available, which ones are occupied, and even which ones are currently offline. Uh, since we only have one bay, I can either select all bays or just that individual bay. Uh, first option here we'll take a look at is sending a message to that bay. If, for example, we wanted to say you had five minutes remaining in your session, you could type that out here, and once you hit send message, you can first choose how long you want the message to display. But once you send that message, it'll pop up pretty instantly on your screen. Um, only last in this case for eight seconds, then it'll disappear and the player can go about their round. So benefits to this are, you know, whether you're on site, your facility manager's on site or uh, remote, you know, an unmanned facility, uh, you will have the ability to communicate with each of the bays. So another option to manage the bays may be setting a timer. So moving into the timer option here, again, we have our TrackMan bay selected here at Carl's Place. Uh, we'll start with one hour. Say a customer purchased one hour session. Um, you want the session to you know, end at a given time, you can plan for that one hour on there. You can even add a message saying that that is the remaining time. And then you can choose a few different options down here at the bottom. Uh, you can choose if you want the session to automatically end at the end of that timer, if you want it to or you don't want it to end, or if you want it to end and lock the bay when that timer is complete. Uh, for purposes here, we'll just hit end session when the timer is complete. And we choose that. And then on our screen on our TrackMan Bay, up in the top center of the screen now, we see a countdown timer along with the message that I added about time remaining. So some additional options that are available to you at, in that timer section. Um, once that timer is complete, you can choose one of three options. First, uh, you do not end the session when the timer expires. So uh, the timer will show on the screen, it'll come to an end, but it won't actually end the session for the user. Uh, the second option is to end the session when the timer is complete. So customers in the bay, using the bay, the timer expires, they're going to get booted from their session. The bay itself will not lock when this option is selected, uh, but there is an option for that. So third option here, we do have the ability to end the session and lock the bay once the timer expires. Um, with that, once the timer expires, the user will be kicked out of the active session and the bay will be locked awaiting the next user session. The next tool available within the control room is the ability to lock and unlock bays. You know, we showed you that option with the timers, but now you can just choose to do that even without a timer. So remotely have the ability to select lock the bay. Our bay here will now lock and it'll appear with a bay locked screen. Um, we haven't set this up just yet on our end, but usually a user would come in, be able to scan the QR code and log in for their session. This next feature within the TrackMan portal may not apply to everyone, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but we will include some links to some additional content from the TrackMan support portal. Uh, but booking and payments uh, is available for customers who are looking to add that service to their facility. Um, you can manage all your booking and payments right through there. Um, currently, as of producing this video, booking and payments is available. Uh, per bay, it's $25 per month per year or $250 per bay per year. Uh, again, directly through TrackMan, you can purchase that service and their team has a lot more content on that that we'll be sure to link in this video. The next tab, uh, tournaments, again, fairly self-explanatory on this one. You'll have the ability to create and manage different tournaments and competitions within your facility. So navigating into the tournaments tab, you'll see that we have a few different options when we go to create a tournament. Uh, first, you have the ability to choose between an individual or a team tournament. Within those, you can choose to play a single round, multiple round, um, even an order of merit, like a, a season long contest or uh, individual contests, including uh, longest drive or closest to the pin competition. As a quick example, we'll take a look at creating a closest to the pin contest. Um, so first here, we'll choose an individual closest to the pin tournament. Um, on the first tab, you have the ability to add some details 
uh, including a title for your competition and a quick tournament description. Also, whether or not that tournament's open to the public or if it's something you'd like to remain private, invitation only. Um, in the settings tab, you'll have the ability to choose a start date and time as well as an end uh, date and time on there uh, and which course or which holes you want that to be a part of. Um, so here we'll choose Sand River. Uh, moving over, we can set up if we want an entry fee or if we want this to be a paid tournament. Also have the ability to add a sponsor. Uh, next in the media tab, you'll be, have the ability to see how your tournament's going to appear in all the different TrackMan touch points. So uh, you see the launcher tall version uh, up there on my left side, as well as looking down further how it would appear in the golf app and the TrackMan portal as you move further down the screen. And once you finish setting up your tournament, your competition, you'll have the ability to publish it over here and have everyone start playing at your facility. If you ever find yourself in a spot where you need to edit a customer scorecard, you have that ability through the scorecards tab. Um, here you can see we'll, we'll navigate into a uh, scorecard and there's actions on the right side where you can uh, edit the scorecard. Um, within there you can open that up and you can modify the score for any given hole. Uh, maybe our user here got a hole in one on the first hole. We can go ahead and make that change. Probably unlikely, but we can make that change. Uh, if you're within a tournament you ever needed to remove a, a entry altogether, you'll also have that ability within the scorecards tab. If your entry was made as part of a tournament, you ever find yourself in a spot, maybe there's some technical errors or something like that that you needed to completely remove an entry from a tournament, you will have the ability there as well. Since these rounds were not played in a tournament, we only have the option to edit the scorecard. The Players tab not only gives you an overview of all the players that have visited your facility, but also allows you key insights into those players. We find this tool to be especially valuable for those who are managing their location off-site gives you the ability to not only see which players have visited your facility, but how often and what they like to play when they visit your location. Essentially, it's a way for you to get to know your customers. Another small feature to talk about is the Info Screen tab. Within the Info Screens tab, you have the ability to create a leaderboard you may want to display your facility along with different promotions you might want to show uh, on different monitors outside of the bay that aren't actually part of the gameplay experience. Um, navigating in here, we'll see an example of how to add an info screen. We'll just call ours test one. Uh, adding that info screen, once we're within there, you'll see we have options to select our different content types, including creating a leaderboard, adding an image, text, or video to those info screens. Just another feature that allows you to further customize your facility and your guest experience via the TrackMan portal. Next feature we'll cover is sponsor campaigns, which can be a great way to draw some additional ad revenue to your facility. Uh, within our sponsor campaign currently, we only have the Carl's Place logo, but we'll show you what it looks like to add a new sponsor. For this example, I'm gonna use Carl's Place, so we'll call the sponsor title Carl's Place. Oh, it's already saved there. Here we can import our logo or your preferred logo as the sponsor logo for the campaign. Uh, here you can see the different previews of that logo and the different courses available in the TrackMan software. Uh, we'll start by saving that sponsor. Next we'll want to set up a campaign for that sponsor. In our case, I'm really looking to have this campaign appear on, on every hole and every course that's played because it's in our showroom facility here at Carl's Place. Uh, we'll take a look though at some of the different options available to you. Um, here I'll just call our campaign showroom We'll leave the start date as today's date, and we don't need to add an end time because I want this to display uh, moving forward. I can choose to show that on all courses or choose to just to show it on selected courses. I'm gonna list to show it on all courses. And I'm gonna want that to appear on all holes within my course as well. So here I can choose by clicking on hole one, I can choose to appear on this hole or all holes. I'm gonna select appear on all and choose the Carl's Place logo again for all of those holes. Uh, once you complete save, saving your campaign, that campaign is now started and will display on all the courses that are played here in our Carl's Place showroom. So move over to the TrackMan Bay and we'll take a look at that. So here as we open up the Bethpage Black course on our TrackMan software, you're gonna see starting with hole one that that Carl's Place logo is gonna appear for a short period of time along the left side of the screen. Uh, again, that's only gonna display for a few seconds here and then that should disappear and you can continue your round. The last feature we're gonna take a look at is the analytics panel. 
which contains a ton of useful information to help you gain key insights into your facility and your customer base to help grow your business. First, we'll take a look at the overview section. Within that section, you'll have the ability to choose a given date range where you'll be able to see key stats, including strokes, uh, number of sessions played, how many players have logged in, also even the number of players per session. Um, see on the right side here, you have the ability to view different trends, um, including the number of strokes over certain periods. Like in here, we see 752 strokes over the last seven days. Again, we're in a uh, showroom facility here, so it may not be as much as a regular commercial facility. Um, you can see your bay occupation, the percentage of time that your bay is occupied over the last seven days and last four weeks. Number of players, including um, number of players that have attended over the last seven days, last four weeks, again, keying in on those different time periods. Our bay insights will give you the ability to view your bay usage. Next being bay occupation. Uh, again, you have the ability to choose your date range. Uh, you can see how often your bay is booked over certain periods of time, which days of the week and which hours of the day is most common. Uh, helps you gain a better understanding of peak versus off peak hours and what times of the day or what times of the week may be best to run certain promotions to try to drive business into your facility uh, during the downtimes. And then course play, you'll see which courses have been played and how often. This can be a key opportunity to view uh, which, which courses are targeted most by your players in your facility and also use that information to help encourage sponsorship for those different courses. And you can even gain insights into the different game modes your customers are playing. And this concludes our brief overview of the TrackMan Golf Portal and some of the benefits it can offer your commercial facility. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.